Hey guys, my name is Scobby. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Nintendo Wii games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial. On screen right now you can see me playing some Smash Bros. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you want to do is open up your web browser and we're going to be coming to this link. Links as always are in the description down below. And we're going to be downloading the free Wii and GameCube emulator for Android called Dolphin. So all you want to do is come to this link, download the latest version of Dolphin, your download will begin, then you want to locate to where your download is. If you don't already have this accepted, you may have to go to your settings and enable apps from outside your Play Store. It's really easy to do, I'll leave a card on screen to my previous video where I show you how to do that. Then you want to come back to this file, click install, and then your file will install. Now luckily for me this only took a few seconds so your process may vary. Once this is done all you want to do is click done and then from here we're going to be going and launching Dolphin. All I'm going to be doing is searching for Dolphin, clicking open on this and then Dolphin should be installed. Now from here you can see Dolphin, it's a pretty simple UI, it's a really easy interface. To add games to this all you need to do is click the plus on the bottom and locate to where your games are. But I'm going to be talking a little bit about games next. Now the first thing I'm going to be saying is I'm not going to be showing you today's video or to download games. They're a little bit more difficult to find now with EMU Paradise shut down, but most of your games will come in torrent files and they are still pretty easy to find. Like I said, a quick Google search will help you out. But once you have your games downloaded, they're most likely going to come in a .7zip or .rar file. So for these types of games, we are going to need another application which we can get for free on our Play Store. So what we're going to be doing is opening up our Play Store right now. And once your Play Store opens up, we're going to be searching for and installing Z Archiver. Now, Z Archiver is 100% free. It's something like WinRAR or 7-Zip for PC, but for your Android device. I'd recommend having this regardless. It's a really good file explorer and file management tool. So what you want to do is get this installed and open it up. And then from here, you want to locate to your games that you downloaded. Now currently I have my game in my download folder and I have Super Smash Bros here. And this is going to be more of a unique file situation. As you can see we have multiple files right here. What we're going to be doing is looking for the last file that's named .rar, which is going to be the file that we're going to be extracting to load our game. What we're going to be doing is clicking on this, clicking extract here, and then we're going to wait for this file to extract. Now certain games on the Wii may come in this format, they may come at multiple parts so that will end in .r and a certain number or there might be a slightly different file structure. So depending on how your game is compressed this may vary, but all you should need to do is come in here and look for a .rar file and we're just going to be extracting this out. And then once this is extracted out we're going to be going back to Dolphin and we're going to be loading our game in to be ready to be played. Once your file is extracted, you should probably see it at the very top, and in this case it should be a .iso file, and that's the format we need for Wii games, that's what the original Wii used, and that's what the Dolphin emulator is going to be using. So once your file is extracted, we're going to be loading back into Dolphin. From here we're going to be clicking on the Wii tab on the top, we're going to be clicking the plus on the bottom right, and now we're going to be locating to where our game is. So currently mine's in my download folder, it's in Super Smash Bros, and as you can see no games will show up. But don't worry, as long as your game is in this folder it should be no problem. What we're going to be doing is clicking OK in the bottom right, and then Smash Bros should show up here. From here what we can do is click on our game, I'm going to be rotating my screen to the side, and my game should be able to play. Now the on-screen controls are going to be a little bit awkward for this, but don't worry too much about this, you can edit this if you add a controller or something like that. But as you can see all the on-screen buttons seem to work just fine for me. We're going to be loading into the game and see how it runs. Now I should mention I am currently using a Pocophone F1, so I do have a Snapdragon A45 with 6GB of RAM, so I do have one of the most powerful chipsets on the market. So you will need a quite heavy phone, tablet or whatever you're using to play these games correctly. I still won't expect two playable frames, but for what we're using right now, the fact that we're already able to emulate Wii games on Android is still pretty cool, and we're already here. As you can see it actually looks pretty okay, I put some gameplay at the start and I'm going to be loading into this just a little bit so you can see what it looks like. It actually works just fine and everything seems to run okay. Dolphin has come a long way, emulation on Android has come a crazy long way, and how far we are with everything we're doing is absolutely insane. I'm also going to be leaving a link down below to my emulators playlist for Android. I've done a video for pretty much every Android emulator there is, so if there's any other emulators you want to try out I'd recommend checking that out and you can see everything there. Some of them are a little bit outdated now, some stuff has been taking off. To Play Store, some stuff has been added to the Play Store, so I do plan to go back and remake some of the older ones soon in the future once I can get some time, but I wanted to add this to the list first. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel, I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, until next time as always, keep it saucy, peace.